Fins on fins is also accomplished using the pod feature. Say we have a rocket and we want to put fins, T-tails, on all of these fins on this rocket. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to see the dimensions of the fin because this is going to save us some time. So I'm going to open up the fin set and I want to note these particular numbers. I want to note the tip cord, which is this length here. I want to know the sweep length sweep length, which is the distance from this point back to this point. And I want to know the sweep angle. And this is just so that I can match uh, the angle when I create my T-tail. So it kind of blends in together. Okay, so once I've written those numbers down, let's go ahead and click OK. Um, and now we're going to add the details to these fins. Um, as you can see, the pod is highlighted here, so we can add that to the fin. Um, you're going to get an error message saying that you uh, pods can only be attached to one fin at a time. So I'll go ahead and click that. Pods can't be attached to fin sets that specify more than one fin. So basically you have to divide all the fins up. So I'm going to say no. And uh, you'll notice this button here that says split. Um, that will split all these fins, this fin set, into individual fins. And it'll be numbered fin 1, 2, and 3. Um, when I go back to pod, when I say yes here, it will automatically do it for me. So I'll go ahead and just say yes. Okay, let me move this out of the way so that you can see what happened here. See, before it was fin set, now it's fin set number 1. And the other ones are down at the bottom of the list. Okay, so now we're working on the pod, and I'm going to just call this pod a T-tail. And remember, we, uh, we wanted to know the dimension from here to here, that length there. Well, we're going to come back, and we're going to enter that uh, into the location field, but I'm going to leave that alone for right now. And when we're satisfied, click OK. Okay, so now we're back here, and you can see we have the two fins. Uh, so I'm going to take this fin here, and you can see now we've had a pod attached to it. So I'm going to highlight the pod, and I'm going to attach fins to this. Okay, and it always looks in the database, so I'll just cancel out of that. Okay, and now I'm going to enter my dimensions um, of this new fin up here. And uh, the root cord is the same length as the tip cord. And remember I wrote that down before and it was 1.5 inches. The tip cord length, I can make this anything I want. The sweep length, um, I'm going to make the sweep angle the same angle as this here, which is this angle, just so that it matches uh, aesthetically. Okay, and I need a semi-span and two inches. Okay, so now we have our fins out here. Um, if you look at it in uh, the base view, it's a little easier to see. So basically, it put it right at the tip of the fin. I'm zooming in here so you can see this. It's at the tip of the fin, and there's three fins attached. Yeah, but I only need two, so I'm going to say two. You can see now it's vertical, and now I'll take the radial position here, and I'll make this 90 degrees. And now it's a T, and hence the name T-tail. And I can come back here and, and tweak the thickness so it's the same thickness as this other fin. And I'll go back to side view and zoom original. Okay, so now our fins are right here, but they're hanging in space. Um, you'll notice uh, all the parts on the pod are attached to the leading edge. And the leading edge is this point right here because this is the part that it's attached to. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And now I'll go back to the pod itself, double click on it to edit it. And now we're going to change the location. You can see I can slide it back to the right spot. Uh, but because I went before and found that sweep length, I know it was 5.2 inches. I click on that, and now it's back there. And let me zoom in here for you. 
And so there's our, our new T-tail that's on the tip of the fin. Now you're saying, okay, now we did it once, can we do that again? Can we just copy that pod and move it around to these other fins? And, and the answer is yes. So highlight the, the pod itself, go to your edit menu and choose copy. And then you can uh, do paste. You can also right click on here to bring up that context menu and do a paste. Okay, so there's the pod and it refreshed the image and uh, now we have it on two of the fins and I can do the same thing to the third one. Highlight it, do a right click on it and paste and the screen will refresh. And let's go in the base view and just take a look in the base view and there we have it. T-tails on all the fins.